Breaking news. Jamaica's Christopher Cubby Taylor delivers big win at Miller's Games 2022. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, let me say thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go and hit the notification bell so you know, next, you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy our content, please hit that like button. The algorithms on YouTube love that engagement. And finally, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts about Jamaica's Christopher Taylor, Calabar's former track star, winning at the Mirrors game, January 29th. Oh, and by the way, thank you all for my birthday wishes. Thank you, kings and queens. When you're ready? Yep. Good to go. Arguably, Christopher Taylor is one of Jamaica's most talented younger athletes. For several years, representing the Calabar High School out of Red Hills Road, Kingston, he dominated tra in track and field in both the 100, 200, well, in the 100, the 200, and also in the 400 meters. The young phenom held the flag high during his high school years and set several Jamaican national schoolboy records in the process. This young man who has a personal best in the 200 meters of 20.35 and in the 100 meters 10.11, both of which he set uh, at the National Stadium in Jamaica in 2018. In the 400 meters, young Christopher Taylor, born on October the 1st, 1999, has a PB in the 400 meters of 44.79. He, in February 2021 in this race, he set a new national record in the 300 meters of 32.80 seconds. Young Taylor has been going from strength to strength, specializing at this point in his career in the 400 meters. We here at Peter Lloyd World have been concentrating on young Christopher Chubby Taylor because we believe the 22 year old is one to watch. Um, he has shown tremendous growth and is fulfilling his promise of transitioning from junior athlete to senior athlete rather well. Now, you should remember these scenes. Um, while running his PB last year at the Olympic Games in the semifinals in the 400 meters, he got an asthma attack. This was actually him getting his asthma attack and being taken off the field. But he was very, very impressive in that semifinals and became the first Jamaican in many years, numerous years, I'll soon tell you the actual amount of years, to actually make the final of a 400 meters in an Olympic game. So I know that sometimes as Jamaicans uh, and as people of the Caribbean, we tend to want the athletes to just keep winning, but you know, it doesn't always work that way. Christopher Taylor, um, many of you should remember, suffered from very serious injury um, in the second, second to last year at the boys, it's a boys and girls champs, which he still had not recovered from fully in his last year at the boys and girls champs. So he's been making this transition slowly but surely. And I believe with what happened at the Armory yesterday on my birthday, January the 29th in New York City at the Mirrors Games. Hey, so here it is. Um, He's the first person since the Athens, Athens Games in 2004, Jamaica, to make a 400 meter final, running 44.92, a season best in that semi finals. Christopher Taylor is clearly growing, people. He's, he's getting better and better and better and better. And, uh, you know, sometimes we have to be patient with the athlete. It, they're human beings, they're not machines. It takes a while to evolve and grow. So, we are very proud 
of his um, progress thus far at the beginning of the season. If you remember, he made this promise publicly to us all in an interview with the Beacon. He said, I'm going to keep my focus. So yes, I will make the transition. He told the Beacon in an exclusive interview on September the 1st of last year. And I know that I often state that injury impacts the athlete, not just physically, but mentally. So here he is at the armory yesterday. I am hoping that they allow me to show you these tiny snippets of the race. For copyright reason, I cannot show the entire race. So I'm only going to show you snippets. So there you have it, um, breaking news, uh, big win. This is a big win for Christopher Cubby Taylor um, of Jamaica. This is a big win, people. First major race of the year. Um, he's already winning, beating one of America's best athletes, best 400 meter runners, Donovan um, Brazer, and running 46.38 in his very, very first race of the season i thought this was very very impressive indoor 46.38 i am i don't know about you but i am happy and i am and i am you know excited for christopher taylor i really think he is going to come on strong in the middle of the year you know he um people have been asking why is it that christopher taylor is running the 400 meters he was severely injured he see he told us how severely injured was uh, I'm going to leave a link to that video that we did on, on him talking about the injury, etc. and his plans for this year. He was severely injured and it, I believe his coach believed this might be the best way to build his, his, his stamina, which he's going to need, and to give the injury more time to heal. I believe that personally. Remember, you know, that um, the world 200 meter gold medalist of last year, Andre de Grasse, said um, that he has been working out with Christopher Taylor there in this same camp, by the way. And that, yo, Christopher is, is running some crazy times. And Christopher Taylor also said that this year, his coach says he'll give him the green light to start running the 200 and possibly the 100 meters. I think this run bodes well for Christopher Taylor and for Jamaica. I believe it means that he's, he's pretty much healed. He's getting his legs back under him. And I think he's going to probably step down to the 200 and 100 meters while he continues to build his stamina and his endurance for during the 400 meters. And a win is a win, people. And the time isn't that awesome, but it's not that bad. The psycholo psychological boost that these athletes get this early in the season is really, really good for them. Someone was saying that we shouldn't get excited. And I'm like, are you, are you crazy? <laughs> you get excited when you win. It motivates you to want to win more and more. The, sometimes we, we forget the impact of winning. It's really important to the athlete. Uh, he's been struggling for years. A win is a great thing for Christopher Taylor and it's a great thing for us as Jamaicans. So big up to Christopher Taylor. You heard it here on Peter Lloyd World. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. If you enjoy our content, hit that like button. The algorithms on YouTube love the engagement. They love it and it's free to hit the like button and there's no more dislike button. So we need engagement. So please hit the like button. And finally, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think I'm getting excited for, for no reason? You know, it's not relevant. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. You are kings and queens. You're greatness personified. One more time, thank you for all the birthday wishes and bless up.